Okay, so ReDream has been released on the Google Play Store, but if you search for it on your device uh, or on the Nvidia Shield, you'll find that it just doesn't show up, uh, and that's because it's not officially supported on these TV devices. Uh, but you can put it on, and I'll show you how to do that after this. Um, so I'll just show you the emulator first. So you've got a premium version which gives you high definition, um, so uh, a big improvement. I'm gonna pay for that, but only when my game of choice is supported and my game of choice is Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX. Now, this game runs too fast on this emulator, but it also does on Rycast as well. It does two minutes in about a minute and 30 seconds, and it makes the game less enjoyable to play. Tony Hawk's runs at exactly the right speed in this incredibly similar type of game with similar graphics and everything else, um, but, uh, but for some reason, Dave Mirror runs too fast on this and Rycast. But let's play it anyway and show you what it's like. Oh, by the way, if I'm using my Xbox controller um, as I just find it better than the Nvidia Shield one, um, especially where the uh, D-pad is because I use D-pad for, for this style of game. Right, so let's go to video. You can see there's various settings there. Set system has got various settings. I'll leave all these as they are because it has been working. I've tried toggling through them to see if they change the speed and none of them do. And I'm going to go into options and I'm going to turn off music because I'll get a copyright strike otherwise. So the reason I, this is the game I want to play, it's my favourite BMX game, but also on Dreamcast it's the latest version of uh, the original Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX. I don't like Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2. I just think it doesn't play as well. Uh, this original one plays really, really well. So it's still enjoyable on this platform, but as you'll see from this, it just runs a bit too fast. And here's my tip to beat the first train. So start straight away, stall on here, just dab your brakes and then pedal hard and you'll get across. And then we can do the big gap. There we go. So you can see from this, it just, it just runs really fast. Oh, that's the jump. Uh, and because of that, it makes the game less enjoyable. Uh, it just motors along at such a speed. Okay, so this is how you're gonna get your APK to work on the NVIDIA Shield TV. Uh, so you wanna go to APK Downloader on a browser. Click on that link. Here we go. And uh, we need to put the Redream link in here. So we'll visit the Play Store. That'll open up another tab. Tap in Redream and search, click on Redream, so you can see it here. Just click on that 
at the top. So we're copying that link, going back to this page, and we're pasting it in there. There you go. So generate download link. Now, because uh, I guess I've already done it yesterday, uh, it's come up here, and then you've got click here to download, uh, and then you're just downloading the APK. Uh, on a Chromebook, it's going to go in your files folder, or your downloads folder, rather. Um, but obviously choose where you want it to be so you know where to find it. Once you've got that file saved, you go into Downloads uh, and you've got to put that onto a USB stick. You can see I've got the file already here. Look. So let's close that and go into Files and Downloads, Downloads here. Go into Downloads. Uh, and the APK is that one there, and that's the one I've used on my NVIDIA Shield. So you pop that on a USB stick, and uh, or if you've got a way of transferring it over to your NVIDIA Shield, uh, do that. And then you need to open it up with something like ES File Explorer. So I'll press the home button on my Xbox controller, uh, go to ES File Explorer, and then you need to navigate to your local part of your device. So you can see on the left-hand side it says Local, uh, if you've got it on a USB stick, it will show up here as a USB stick, but you've got to basically find that file. So you can see mine is here, uh, that's the APK there. Mine's on my external drive. I always, When I transfer between devices, I always use my uh, Western Digital Drive because I find it easier. But you would navigate to local if you've got yours on a memory stick uh, and then open that up. Uh, and if you long press on it, you get options at the bottom here, hit more, uh, and you've got install. Uh, and basically it would hit install and then it would install just as a normal APK uh, and then you can use it and then when you go back to your menu if I quit out there you go well I've added oh, and you go back to your menu you can see I've added mine to my main screen so click on that and uh, you can see it's uh, resuming from where I got to but if anybody thinks of a way of making Dave Mirror run at a normal speed rather than this super speed, I would much appreciate it. Uh, I would imagine I'd be pretty good at the game by the time I play it at the normal speed. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, it, uh, it really is an excellent Dreamcast emulator and runs really well on the shield. Uh, it's just the one game that I want to play happens to play way too fast. Uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.